Sky Color by Peter H. Reynolds. Sky Color. Marisol was an artist. She loved to draw and paint, and she even had her very own art gallery. Where's her art gallery? On the fridge with a, her little kitty cat as her audience. Not all her art hung in a gallery. Much of it she shared with the world. She painted posters to share ideas she believed in. At school, Marisol was famous for her creative clothes, her box of art supplies, and her belief that everybody was an artist. And I agree with Marisol. Everybody's a different kind of artist, right? We're all different. Yes, Marisol was an artist through and through. So when her teacher told the class they were going to paint a mural for the library, Marisol couldn't wait to begin. The classroom buzzed with the sound of brainstorming. The students talked and sketched. Together they made a great big drawing. Then they marched to the library. I'll paint a fish. I'll paint one too. I'll paint the ocean. Mar Marisol shouted, I'll paint the sky. What wonderful ideas. They're definitely working together and syn synergizing. Marisol rummaged through the box of paint but could not find any blue. Hmm. How am I going to make the sky without blue paint? The sky's usually blue, isn't it? What is she going to do? Hmm. What would you do? Do you have to use blue for the sky? You don't have to. The bell rang. It was time to put their brushes down for the day. As she climbed aboard the bus, Marisol kept wondering. All the way home, she stared out the window. What is she staring at? The sky. But wait, is that sky blue? Mm -mm. The sun lowered closer to the horizon, and the horizon is the place where the sky and the land meet. And so it's kind of hard to tell in this picture. It almost looks like maybe it's here or here. Um, that's what you would call the horizon. <gasps> Oh, how beautiful. Later at home, Marisol watched day turn into night. That night, Marisol settled into a deep dream. I love all the artwork, the illustrations in this book. It's so beautifully painted. Oh my goodness, wait till you see this page. She drifted through a sky swirling with colors. The colors mixed, making too many to count. Almost looks like outer space to me. Like she's, she's an astronaut now, an astronaut artist. In the morning, Marisol stood waiting for the bus in the rain. The sky was not blue. She smiled. Why do you think she smiled when she saw that the sky was in blue? What did we read earlier? She wanted to paint the sky, but did she have blue paint? At school, Marisol raced to the library. She grabbed a dish and began adding colors. This one, that one. She swirled the brush to make an altogether new color. We know how to make lots of new colors. We learned about that this year. Marisol then began painting on the wall. A boy asked, what color is that? That, Marisol said, that is sky color. So she created her own sky color. How cool is that? Oh my goodness. 
This is a beautiful page. Are you ready? How gorgeous is that? And look at all the other classmates. They look really impressed at their beautiful mural. There's murals in our school of different pictures and different um, images. And guess what? That's the end. So Marisol figured out a way to paint the sky without the normal realistic color blue. She created her own sky color. So this week, I challenge you to make your own sky color and paint a masterpiece.